Hello everyone, it's been a while that I haven't made any videos and today I'm going to make a short video show you how I replace the battery in my laptop. So here is my Dell laptop, it's XPS 13. I bought it about two years ago and the specific model about this one is the um, 9370. So I'm going to do the battery swap out uh, because um, I got the old battery uh, swollen. So as you can see here, maybe you are not easy to see that uh, this side of the battery is actually thicker than this this side. And what it costs is um, actually we're gonna raise up the uh, lot uh, the keyboard, and uh, we're gonna make it some of the keys it's uh, dysfunctional. So I have to replace the battery. The so battery itself is actually still able to use it, but it's recommended not to use it. So today I we're gonna swap out the battery. I already bought a new one. Uh, I'm not able to bought the um, the one that make uh, or the one that branded uh, by Dow. So I bought it from somewhere else. So I'm gonna swap it this. I'm gonna install this into my laptop today. Cool, so let's get started. All right, so all the screws is uninstall it so i just need to take this back plate out and then install my battery and this should be quick and easy so let's do that All right, once you make sure all the clicks are on, on click and you can push down like this. And you should able to get rid of the back plate and you should able to see inside. So right now I don't have my battery because I already uh, disassemble it. So I can just install this battery, this new battery inside. So you're gonna place it here. Looks like it's uh, perfectly fit. I just need to uh, install this cable and we're gonna connect and power up the computer. And after that, I should just need to install four screws actually five screws one two three four five and i should be good to go uh, but before i install the screw i'm going to test out to see if this battery cable is able to be connected Just a quick hint, uh, you might need to insert this battery um, cable before you put it in place. Otherwise, you might find it super difficult to do that after. All right, so now I just need to um, install those screws and I should be good to go. So now I just need to put this back plate back. But and it should be good. But before before I install all the SKUs back, I would like to do a test just to see if it can stop. All right, so it looks like uh, the battery light, it just light up. Hopefully it can stop. All right, I see a Dow logo. It looks like there isn't too much trouble. All right, so I think it is good. Okay, let me turn it off and then 
install all the screws. Before I switch to this battery, actually the, the keyboard has been raised up unevenly, like the, this side is raised up a lot, so I can see some keys is pop off, and all the other keys are keep normal. So right now I just see um, they are perfectly uh, flat, which is good. All right, so now let's switch back and then install all the screws. Now it's done. So right now um, it goes back to what its weight was. So now I feel it's heavy again, which I'm not used to it since I already use it with a battery for a week. And I'm used to um, the light ultra big book right now, uh, which is bad, but uh, it's good that I can still use it anywhere right now. So that's good. Um, so if you want to do the same thing and you're trying to use my video as a reference, I have to tell you that I'm not a professional computer fixer, so I'm not fix computer to make money. Uh, but uh, since it's not super hard to replace a battery above this module, so you should able to do it by yourself as well. And also if you're trying to buy the new um, Dell XPS 13, I recommend it you to buy the uh, um, warranty extension because it looks like uh, it's not only me has this uh, swollen battery after the warranty since uh, I bought this almost two years ago. Uh, so the warranty is already um, ended. So uh, if you don't like to do the battery swapping by yourself, uh, it's uh, probably a good idea to buy the warranty extension to four years, which um, I think it's worth it. So um, that's all for today's video. See you next time.